This presentation is dedicated to the Earth and Sky Corporation that is raising $35,750,000 by issuing 27 million shares of common stock at a progressive price range from $1 US dollar to $1 US dollar and 70 cents. Earth and Sky Corporation's vision is to create a unique and trusted international brand of eco-responsible boutique hotels, organic farms, and extraction and distillation plants. The boutique hotels will showcase the group's visionary approach through a complete immersion into the wellness world of earth and sky, whereas the organic farms and production plants will generate earth and sky's output of scalable high-end quality products for local consumption and worldwide distribution. The underlying ecological theme behind the earth and sky properties is to always make use of natural resources in an optimal way applying complete environmental respect and harmony. This includes the production of energy from renewable and clean sources, the use of sustainable building and agricultural techniques, as well as the production of most of what is needed for consumption and care within the estates or within a reasonable proximity. Earth and Sky Corporation promotes a healthy lifestyle among its guests and clients by allowing them to discover that health does not need to come at the expense of a certain quality or balance of life. Through the Earth and Sky approach of physical health, body-based therapies and specialized diets, guests and clients will connect or reconnect to the essentials of well-being. Morocco the site of the first estate which is called Ard Wasama, which means earth and sky is widely known for its climate and rich tradition in body care, including its rich essential oils. Ard Wasama will therefore be able to offer premium services with homegrown and extracted oils deeply rooted in Moroccan tradition. Whilst encouraging a healthy lifestyle, Earth and Sky also promotes complementary and alternative medicine, namely through its physical training activities, massage therapies and specialized diets. The services and products offered by the issuer are aligned with all-encompassing philosophy. In terms of physical health, guests will have access to tours, trekking, excursions and hikes across natural places of beauty as well as physical training services, private coaching, yoga classes and horseback riding. Earth and Sky also offers multiple options in terms of health therapies, ranging from sand bath, emotional showers, deep massages, quantum care, physical rebalancing of your energy in your psychic, etc. Other options include an a la carte service on nutrition, developed by the group's chefs and doctors according to the diseases and pathologies of some of the guests, a food rebalancing or simply a cure. Earth and Sky Corporation's policy is deeply rooted in the ecotourism philosophy and has a three zeros approach. Zero kilometers, always using local construction materials and the local labor force. Zero carbon dioxide emissions, prioritizing energy management and the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions. Zero Waste, Introducing Life Cycle Management into the Construction Process Earth and Sky will produce and market an extended line of products from the organic farms and extraction plants, such as Essential Oils Hydrolat-based products Pure Essential Oils Fruits and Vegetables Honey All of Earth and Sky products will be used for consumption in the hotel's amenities and restaurants. Pure vegetable oils, essential oils and hydrolat-based products will be made from the aromatic plants produced on the organic farms. These will be used in the spa of the hotel, as well as marketed through different distribution channels. The processes of transformation will be accomplished in the proprietary distillation and extraction plants. The hotels will adhere to strict sustainable practices by ensuring that energy production, water treatment and sanitation are all self-sufficient allowing estates to be independent from mainstream providers. The company targets a clientele looking for more sustainable choices who do not wish to compromise on the quality of services. Recent reports show that the town and area of Marrakesh recorded 3 million tourists out of a total of 13 million tourists that visited Morocco in 2019, Please note that these figures were obtained from the United Nations World Trade Organization's report. The health and wellness industry, which includes the spa industry and wellness tourism, has a global market worth 4.2 trillion US dollars worldwide according to the World Health Organization's report. On a global trend, travelers are showing additional awareness for climate change and are willing to make more sustainable choices.
According to a report released in October 2018 by the Global Wellness Institute, the global health and wellness industry is a market worth 4.2 trillion US dollars worldwide, thus representing more than half the total global health expenditures, which were set at 7.3 trillion US dollars, according to data released by the World Health Organization. The wellness industry grew by almost 13% between 2015 and 2017 and represents slightly over 5% of the global economic output. During the same period, the sectors leading in terms of revenue growth were the spa industry with 10% and the wellness tourism industry with 6.5%. According to a 2017 Global Wellness Institute study, Morocco ranked second in the Middle East and North Africa wellness tourism sector, after the United Arab Emirates. In total, wellness tourism generated 8.5 million trips to the region, up 10% between 2013 and 2015, for 8.6 billion US dollars in revenue, up 6%. Morocco has been awarded Africa's Best Spa Destination Award, presented by the World Spa Awards, for the past few years, 2015 to 2019. The GWI's new report on the global wellness economy includes eye-opening new data on the wellness travel market. The big picture numbers, in the pre-pandemic year of 2019, wellness tourism reached a record $720 billion, but then took a devastating hit in the pandemic year of 2020, falling to $436 billion. The future however looks very bright. The GWI forecasts that the market will reach $817 billion in 2022 and soar to $1.3 trillion by 2025, the fastest growth rate of any wellness market. The size of the argon oil market in Morocco was estimated at $70.3 million US dollars in 2018 and is expected to reach a compound annual growth rate of 20.7% over the 2019-2026 period, despite the crisis of the coronavirus according to a recent study by Trusted Business Insights. Increased consumer preferences for natural ingredients in hair treatment and skin care products should stimulate the market. Manufacturers of personal care and cosmetic products would promote the use of argan oil for skin and hair. Thus, these initiatives are expected to boost Morocco's overall demand for argan oil in the cosmetic application segment, according to the study. In addition, Global demand for products is increasing in food application due to a change in consumer preference for a healthy lifestyle due to coronavirus. Technological innovation in the production process in Morocco played an important role as it replaced the manual extraction process with machines. This has led to an increase in oil production as less time is needed to produce high-quality oils. Changing the amount of biochemical components through various extraction processes is expected to play an important role in the coming years. Increased use of organic argan oil as an active ingredient and clean product for cosmetics is also expected to fuel market demand. Earth and Sky, Corporation, is acquiring in Phase 1 of its development the existing estate of Ard Wasama located near the town of Marrakesh. Earth and Sky will then further develop the existing facilities and acquire additional agricultural land. The estate currently covers an area of 14 hectares soon to be increased by an additional 50 hectares. This presentation focuses on Phase 1 as this is the reason the company is currently fundraising, however, this presentation also lays out Phase 2 to give longer visibility to investors of what Earth and Sky's rollout plans are as it ramps up capital raising further. In Phase 2 the land of the Moroccan estate will be expanded by a further 400 plus hectares to reach a total size of 500 hectares. All the group's properties will therefore have an eco-responsible boutique hotel. Organic Farms Essential Oil Extrusion and Distillation Plants As previously mentioned Earth and Sky will start by acquiring the Ard Wasama estate covering an existing area of 14 hectares, including an organic farm, and the distillation and extraction plant. This will ensure the farming operations, and the processing of pure essential oils. This phase will also include the completion of the eco-responsible boutique hotel covering an area of approximately 4,000 square meters and the further purchase of a reserved 50 hectares as detailed in the Isurus private offering memorandum. 
One of the main activities of the company is the production and sale of essential oils. In the first phase, the company will open a flagship store in a strategically important location in Marrakesh, close to the main restaurants, hotels and attractions. Earth and Sky will create in the phase 2 of its development two more eco-responsible boutique hotels and organic farms, one in the south of Europe, and one in Latin America. In phase 2 the land of the Moroccan estate will be expanded so that all three properties reach a critical size so that they can all reach their production goals for their respective markets. At a later phase, the issuer intends to establish the licenses for worldwide rights and the development of a universal digital platform for the Earth and Sky Group. Moreover, a digital ecosystem will use smart contracts made on the blockchain to ensure full traceability of Earth and Sky quality control and standards. Once the eco-responsible Moroccan boutique hotel is complete, it will deliver premium hotel services and related restaurant, bar, and room services to its clientele. The organic farm with its mixed output will cater for some of the production needs of the hotel, not only in terms of vegetables and fruits, but also the aromatic plants will further be processed in the extraction and distillation unit for the production of essential oils and hydrolate-based products. These will either be destined for domestic consumption, within the premises or marketed through multiple distribution channels in Morocco and abroad. At the same time, the issuer is looking for cost-saving practices, such as the creation of clean energy production or the use of innovative construction materials and to have an important role in the local communities and the regional development, and gradually, attain a significant impact at a wider scale. This includes the creation of new jobs, the promotion of regional tourism and local craftsmanship, the transmission of important social, humanist and eco-responsible values into a larger community, which will encompass the creation of a foundation to support self-employed entrepreneurs and small and medium-sized enterprises who would adhere to Earth and Sky Corporation's charter. Earth and Sky requires an initial investment of US$35,790,000 to complete its first phase of development. This money will be used to purchase the estate of Ard Wasama with its 14 hectares of land which is the minimum size needed to support the basic production requirements. These funds will also ensure a proper harvest of essential oils. A further 50 hectares of land directly around the resorts will be added, and the extra options to increasing the total land size to 500 hectares will be exercised over time. The investment in more essential oil production and crushing plant will be needed as for every additional 100 hectares of land a new plant is required to ensure that the targeted production goals are reached. The issuer is also setting aside part of the raised funds to provision for the additional costs needed to take the company public through a traditional IPO on the Nasdaq. 5 million US dollars is needed to cover for the basic IPO costs. The table below shows the investment needs for up to 500 hectares of land. The backbone of earth and sky revenues is the production of the high-end essential oil crops. These are important to ensure that the company generates a high return on investment for its shareholders, but it is clearly through the development of a well-rounded approach that Earth and Sky will be able to create a trusted brand ensuring that all of its products and services will be in high demand for discerning customers and clients. Earth and Sky's EBITDA shows an interesting positive return even from the modestly sized 14 hectares during the first full year of operation. There is little difference between the project size slash costs from 14 to 50 hectares due to the fixed costs of using the essential oil crushing and processing plant. Those fixed costs capped in the EBIT which improves substantially when 100 hectares of land are put into production. A land plot of 200 hectares is a good midpoint, as this really provides earth and sky with a solid EBITDA. Earth and sky has foreseen to exercise two harvests per year, which will provide a significant amount of raw material for the crushing and processing plants. The founders and officers of the company have extensive experience in a range of highly complementary skills. Thank you for your attention. There will now be a brief Q&A with members of the management team. For further information or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting, please reach out to one of the partners of Swiss financiers attending today or via the link in your original invitation to this event.